Coming up on Mountain News This Morning, a flood relief telethon raises thousands of dollars from across the country. And one organization is turning into a hub for those who need help cleaning up. More Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Chas Gayhart. It is 4.59 on Tuesday, August 30th. And Brandon, where did August go? It's gone. <laughs> One more day of it and then it's over. It's unreal. That's right. So we got But we like fall. Yes. And it's close. Yes. It so is that's close. not a bad thing. But here is the thing. The temperatures are not going to act like fall oh. for a little while. <laughs> I think we'll see a nicer trend after today for a couple of days. But then they head right back up, at least for now. Let's take a look and see what's going on out there this morning. Already tracking some rain on Life Pinpoint Doppler radar. Let's take you a little bit closer there. Louisa and West Liberty getting ready to get some pretty good little showers. Maybe some rubbles of thunder out there over toward parts of Rowan and over toward, uh, let's see what we got there. That is Elliott County. That is back over toward Carter County. So again, just be aware of that. I'm moving over toward Boyd County this morning as well. So just take it easy out there. Temperature, or temperatures, conditions, visibility in miles. You see nobody's below five except for Jacksboro right now. We'll keep you posted on if that changes, but the fog is patchy this morning. Temperatures still very similar to this time yesterday or for now anyway, I think they'll drop as we get deeper into the day and that cold front comes through. 63 Clintwood and Wise, 72 in Jackson and Somerset. That's our range right now this morning across the region. As we head deeper into the day, that cold front will come through and it's going to take some of the punch out of some of those uh, warm temperatures we've been seeing for the last few days. I'll have more on that coming up here in just a little bit. Chas? Thanks, Brandon. And you were there last night teaming up for a good cause. That was what happened last night at the Mountain Arts Center in Prestonsburg. The Appalachia Rises Come Hell or High Water Flood Relief Telethon was a huge success, raising more than $150,000 during the several hour event. That number does not include online donations. T. Graham Brown joined Eastern Kentucky natives and country music singers halfway to Hazard, Tyler Booth and Taylor Austin Dye. You can see more of our coverage on our website. More than one month has passed since deadly flash flooding swept across our region. Water is almost completely restored in Perry County, but some spots in the Buckhorn area are still waiting. WYMT's Olivia Calfee has an update. After the flood, nearly every person in Perry County was without water. But today, Hazard Mayor Happy Mobellini shared some good news. They said it was going to be six to nine months, maybe even a year, before we could get water to everybody in the county. And in less than a month, out of 9,000 customers, we have between 30 and 40 customers without water. And most of those, probably 35 of those, are in the Buckhorn area. Crews are currently working to ensure water is back soon for those without. We're working on Fab Fork today, and tomorrow we're going to Gage Creek and work around the lake. And we hope by the Sunday we have everybody in the county back on water. And when water is restored, it is important to pay attention for boil water advisories. While most are lifted, there are still some in effect. The only boil advisory left is from East Perry to the, um, down toward Rowdy um, to the Knock County line that way. That's, and, and they're taking samples a day and they may be lifted tomorrow. Mobellini says they have been working day and night to get water back to everyone around the county. Our water crews have been working day and night ever since the storm in um, July 27th, but we could not have done this without all the help from around the state. Exciting news for the people in Perry County. Olivia Calfi, WYMT Mountain News. Mayor Mobellini says when water is restored, expect a boil water advisory to be issued. It will be in effect until samples of the water are taken and cleared as safe. Well, Monday was the first back to school for most students in Perry and Breathitt County schools. For many students, returning to the classroom gives them an opportunity to see their friends and share their stories. Perry County Central High School's principal, Michelle Ritchie, says it also gives teachers a chance to help kids through the hard times. 
from that, you're able to have that empathy and know like these kids really need help. They need to be talked to. They need to have that time where they're not just in class, but they're just sitting with a friend talking, sitting with a teacher talking and be able to say, this is really hard on me and like, what can I do? Buckhorn School and Robinson Elementary students will return September 6th. They will be combined at the old A.B. Combs Elementary building. In the weeks following the flooding, the need for aid is greater than ever. Summit Church has quickly turned into a hub for donations and community assistance. Pastor Mark Combs says the need is still there for non-perishable food and cleaning items. But a new chapter of recovery has started as basic building materials are in high demand. More and more people are talking about items that they need to begin to try to rebuild their home. There's quite a bit of talk about, you know, dehumidifiers, obviously, but tools. Uh, and then supplies like, like the plywood and lumber and nails and things like that. So that's a lot of the talk now. Pastor Combs is also leading a convoy of supplies to displaced families at the Car Creek Campground. We will have more on that in our 6 a.m. half hour. Thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Still on the way, we will take you to the deep south where flooding is rushing through parts of Mississippi. And some heavy rain could potentially work its way into our region in the hours ahead today. I'll track it out for you in about three minutes.